Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, mistakes after mistakes. So not only did I make a blender of making the wrong video of The Ascendant today, because I was looking at it without my glasses on my cell phone. That's how, that, that's how blind I am now. Middle age, enjoy it. The second blender, this is the third time I'm filming this video now because the first time my audio was not connected to the camera. That's what happens with cinema cameras because I'm using a cinema camera to film this and everything is, uh, has to be attached in order for it to work. Like my camera doesn't even have uh, a monitor. I have to attach a monitor to it to view something. Doesn't have any handles, nothing. But the quality is great. So Mars in the 8th house in Capricorn for Gemini ascendant people as Mars rules the 6th and 11th house, right? 6th house of enemies, health, illnesses, diseases, deaths, competition, 11th house of gains, hopes, wishes, desires, entrepreneurship, organizations. So one thing you will see with this particular Mars is that number one, they are going to be the protector of their siblings. This is the person that is going to be a protector of their siblings because this is not a debilitated Mars. And again, you got to understand I'm talking about this Mars by itself, not any, no, no aspect, no conjunction to this Mars, just what Mars is doing. Because the other thing will complicate those things. But one of their duties, because Mars is duty and discipline, just like Saturn and structure, because a soldier needs discipline, needs structure to become who they are. And so here they will find the discipline that, you know what, in my siblings needs, especially the elder sibling, if they have an elder sibling, you will see, they will come to their defense, they will come to their fight. The other thing you will also see with this Mars, no matter how much debt they're in, they will always somehow secretly find a way or suddenly find a way to pay those debts off. Yet this person most definitely thrives in the area of competition, okay? Like for example, if this person doesn't, in their workspace doesn't have a competition and rivalry, they don't feel alive inside. But you will see that they're not going to be the person who's going to exert their strength and ego in the front. They'll be the people who you think, oh, you can just beat up this person. They're so quiet. They're, they don't really exert any ego strength. I'm not really afraid of them. And they're one of those, you know, like silent Bruce Lee sitting or Ang Lee sitting. Ang Lee, that's a filmmaker. You know, the guy from uh, IP Man. I forgot his name. I love that actor. He's sitting quietly having his tea right in the movie scenes. And then some uh, bad guy, some antagonist comes in, throws his tea, and then suddenly he stops his hand and kata, 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 like that. That's how this person is. So never underestimate the strength of this person by their body, by their look, by their strength. And one of the things we do see is that this person does get into conflicts with their father-in-law. And especially, it will be a conflict of not even verbal things. Sometimes it can be silent. They may not say something. They may not have praised father-in-law for something when everybody else was praising. And that will create some animosity. Because when Mars is exalted, it speaks less. You will notice that when Mars is exalted, it speaks less. It doesn't need to speak. Why? Because Mars says, my speech, because I'm always with the speaker, either marketing something or conveying some message. My, conve my conveyance to you and my marketing of whatever I want to do is going to come through my work, going to come through my actions, not my words. But also one of the other things is, especially on social media where talking and speaking becomes the way to communicate. Yes, this Mars can have that, uh, you know, weakness where they will attack somebody if their belief system is not under their discipline. Like this person, when it comes to marriage, friendships, any kind of relationships, they feel like unless they can match with my boundaries, I don't want to engage with them. And so in social media, what happens is you have strangers who may comment on your thing. You have friends of friends who may comment on your thing, or you may see somebody else's post and it will aggravate them. Like, why is this person believing in this thing? This is the right way to believe. And this is where they need to watch out. Even with the coworkers, they'll have that. The best thing is, it's the philosophy that I use. 
If it has nothing to do with what I'm trying to share about astrology in a neutral form, there's no place for me to advise anybody or there's no place for me to virtue signal to anybody about anything. Because in my world, my beliefs are the best. In your world, your beliefs are the best. And the truth is far away from it. Truth is way above, a billion light years above. That's how far we are from the truth. Now, the other thing you'll also see with this uh, Mars is that they'll have the ability to gain through bonuses, through sudden gains, through, you know, um, even I wouldn't really say lottery, but it is they have that ability to find their way to gain suddenly. See the omen? The dog is barking. That is something very true then. Okay. The other thing, this person becomes very good with entrepreneurship. They have a zest for being an entrepreneur. They have a zest for putting their own effort into doing things. Because of the fact the eighth aspect is on the third house of Mars. My daughter just came in. Okay. All right. Everything is good now. So because of the fact Mars is aspecting the third house with the sign of Leo, where the sign of Leo is, which is a regal sign. Mars says, I want to put my effort so I can be in a regal position. I want to be in a regal position. And that's how I'm going to find my transformation because the eighth aspect of Mars is the aspect of transformation. It's how they change things for themselves. Because Mars is the original sign of Aries, right? Multra, so wherever Mars' aspect is or placement is, you're seeking something for your own gratification, for your own satisfaction, for your own healing. And so for them, it becomes important that they're able to put efforts where they rise to a regal status. So they do very well in entrepreneurship. Now, exactly what business, what entrepreneurship, this one placement will not say anything. You'll find chefs, astrologers, IT professional, lawyers, actors, movie producers, CEOs with these positions. So you can't really determine too much from that, this particular position. And especially also after marriage, they will attain property. Three different properties they can attain. And yes, this is also the placement uh, where they will have to, regardless of how their relationship is with the in-laws, um, they will always come to their rescue as well. They will always come to their rescue. They will always help them in their ill health as well. Okay. So anyway, guys, this is my analysis of Mars in the 8th house in Capricorn for Gemini Ascendant, not Sagittarius, Gemini. And as always, if you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And if you want to know where your Mars is placed, along with all your astrological details, Check out the links here. Otherwise, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.